Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, yeah Jan, and we're here in the Great Palace of Ebon Tower, here in Old Ebonheart, and where we last left off, we were doing a little bit of a quest to try to exercise a ghost from this uh, tower, and we started finding these dark idols that somebody was selling. And we actually bought a few of them. We actually got some of them, and one of them was on the guard outside of the tower. And we we tried to investigate that. We got a few of them, but I feel like we should just take these back to the ghost now and see what the ghost has to say about them. Didn't seem like um, a, a lot of these other people were... They were being pretty tight-lipped about the situation, so it was hard to get information out of them. And I think that is just part of our limitations with this character build and the fact that we're very limited in personality which is a really big problem for us so I think today we're just going to step outside here and um, let's see I think there was still um, there was still another person that we could have talked to who's in the I think the tower of Akatosh here let me go here yeah it might have been um, Let's see here, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, hold on. Selatara, no, she was at the Mage's Guild. Oh, Memistrian Felix in Akatosh's Tower. So let's go talk to him. And um, I think it's this way, so let's just go over here. Uh, Hall of Justice, Curia Hall of Justice. Um, I'm not sure if this is the right way. I don't think it is. But yeah, we can just take a look in here. There's a nice mural of Tiber Septum. Victorious over Vivek, the god king here in Morrowind, when the Empire conquered here, but um, a lot of the guards just kind of standing around. Let's, uh, here, let's get over to the Tower of Akatosh. Um, here's Sendar's Tower. I think this is what we need. Um, and there's another thing that we gotta check in a second, so we'll deal with that once we get over here. Akatosh's Tower. Alright. Here's the guy, well, Mimestrian Felix. Did I put that? Okay, I am the priest of Mimestrian Felix, and this is the Imperial Cult Shrine of the Legion. How may I serve you? Um. Yeah. Uh. Pleased to meet you. Um. Blessings of Talos upon you. Um. Let's actually stop and look at the I Altar here. Now we have a few um, negatively affected stats here, and I I'm not sure exactly where these are from, but uh, I think what we're gonna do here is just hmm. pray at our um shrine here. It's kind of a weird looking shrine. Um, but let's just pray. Make a donation of 25 and let's restore our attributes. There we go. And very nice. Everything is back to normal. Also, let's try to get some water here and let's get... Do I have anything to eat? I don't... I have some raw meat. Um, I guess I could eat this onion. Alright, we're well fed. Um, let's talk to Mimestri in here. Um, let's ask him about the Vengeful Spirit. And he says, ah, you're looking into banishing the ghost that's been haunting Sendar's tower. Excellent. As you probably know, the undead are immune to normal weapons. You'll need to use either silver or better quality weapons or magic to dispel the spirit. I mean, if the ghost could be killed with weapons or magic, it would have been banished already. There's no need to get snippy. I've given you my suggestion, so if there's nothing else, you can just be on your way. Alright, so this guy is just totally useless for this quest. Um, he's not really going to help us out here. Um... He's just kind of saying, oh yeah, just like use an enchanted sword. I mean, it's just going to come back, so. Alright, well, um, something rubs me the wrong way about this guy. Like, maybe he's intentionally not working with us, because this is a really weird altar. I could imagine this kind of altar for, like, RK, but for Akatosh it feels kind of strange. Even for RK, it's pretty grim. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, like, in RK's tower, it didn't look anything like that, so. Something weird about that guy. Um, let's just leave him alone for now. I think what we gotta do now is just, uh... <sighs> Alright, let's just try to find the ghost again and talk to him. Um, let's go ahead. Let's take out this lantern. And we just gotta talk to the ghost. We don't need to fight it. And, uh, we gotta tell it that we got these statues. The dark idols. Come out, ghost! Come out, spirit! I wish to speak with you about the idols. I wish to speak with you about the source of your pain. 
He should come out soon. Come on. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, where is he? Where is he? So he's above us. All right, let's see if we can talk to him before he kills us. Oh, come on! Can I talk to you, fiery horror? He's right there. Come on. All right, at least he's not aggressive. Or he's stuck on something. All right, it doesn't seem like he's talking. Let's try again. Okay. Ah, you have returned. Have you damned the source of the corruption? Do you have the dark idols? Um. Let's see, um, we got a few options here. We could say, yes, here are the statues that were sold, and I've made sure no more will be sold in the city. I could say, I, I have the statues here, but others still sell them in the city. I could say, no, I haven't finished. Let's try the first one. Yes, I have the statues that were sold. I've made sure that there's no more. You have not yet gathered all the idols that have infiltrated the city. Do not neglect the dark influence these statues spread. Now, now go, seek out the idols and return here with them before their effects grow stronger. Alright. Oh crap. Alright. Oh crap. Oh, he's fast. Alright. Fiery Horror is fast. Okay, let's just move quick. Let's get out of here. Before he starts kicking our butt. And then we gotta... Uh... Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Um, actually, one last thing. Before we leave, why don't we just leave these behind? Because I don't know what to do with these. And they're... Yeah, let's just leave them here. Yeah, and uh, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. All right, so Jelmus is just catching his breath out here. Um, all right, I think that um, I'm not sure exactly what else to do with regards to that quest now, but at least we got our stats restored. Um, and I think with that, we're actually going to get going here. I think we're going to actually go back to Vardenfell today. And um, there's a few reasons for that. One, I want to take a break from Old Ebonheart. And Jelmus has done a good amount of stuff here. But I think um, we're going to actually head back to Vardenfell for a little bit now. Um, I think we'll take a ship from Balmor or a ship from the docks, and we'll try to head our way to... Belmora. Um, I think that there's a few uh, items that we're lacking that I'm not sure we can even find here in the mainland, as, or at least not as easily as in Vardenfell. And one of those things is a bedroll. And a bedroll will be very useful in, obviously, having a place to sleep for the night when we're out in the wilderness, because we gotta worry about, you know, our tiredness level and. Um, that is something that we're going to have to deal with, so I think we should go back, and, uh, here, let's see, can we get our, uh, there we go, nice. Getting better with that stamina, it doesn't work every time, but when it does, it feels good to see that green fill back up. And here we are at the docks, it's late at night. Let's see if we can, uh, how much gold do we have? We got a 105, that should be enough to get us back to Vivek from here. And I think the boat we came in on was over here, so I think we're just going to uh, talk to the captain. Hopefully they'll uh, be friendly enough to let us talk. Um, can I travel? Where would you like to go? Alright, and let's just head back to Ebenhart. Alright, it is a nice and sunny day um, as we arrive back here in uh, Ebenhart. It's about noon. So, it, I, I guess it took us took us a little bit of time to cross the sea back here. Wow, look at the the meteor just floating above the back city. Awesome, just awesome. Um, and we're back here. There's a lot of commotion in the marketplace, but um, let's see. Actually, can we? We probably can't. Let's see. Is there a trader that we can talk to here real quick? Yeah. This this woman here we can trade with. Um, now let's see, what does she have? Within reason. I probably can't afford a bedroll right off the bat, even if she has one. But that's okay. Why don't we try selling a few things? Now, this actually has restore strength as a property. Let's hold on to the stone flower petals. Is there anything else I can sell here? Anything good? I've got a lot of these potions. 
cure po po poison. Yeah, well, that'll just drain Magicka, but at least it'll cure poison. Um, I'm not sure what exactly to sell here. I guess I could sell this. Yeah, we don't really get much for any of this. Um, she doesn't have any of the things that I'm looking for. And so I think with that, we're going to just head over to probably say Um Yeah, why don't we why don't we just run back to say and um, yeah, when we get there, we're gonna check with a really. And I want to see if he has a bedroll. Um, and how are we doing on our? Okay, we are peckish, so we're gonna have to stop and find something to eat. But let's just gather some stuff in the meantime. Um, yeah, I can hear something walking around, and I'm not sure who or what it is. But uh, it's a very foggy day here in Vardenfell. And nice, we just got a speed improvement there. Very cool. That that feels very good. And. Uh, yeah, it is a foggy and mysterious land here in Vardenfell. Um, I think we're gonna stop and try to get something to eat. Um, now we could cook up some vegetables, like let's see, if we get cork bulb root, yeah, we can cook that up. Um, but I want to see if we can hunt something. And I already think I know what we should hunt, because I see a few in the distance creeping around in the mist. So why don't we uh, take out our sword? And we are thirsty. We got a kettle full of water here we can drink from. But let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let's hunt some of these mud crabs down. There we go. One hit. All right. Some crab meat. Very good. Um, let's see. Another one here. There we go. Another one shot. Take all. Very good. Four crab meat right there. Um, do we have any more? Alright, let's just get some stamina. Okay, there's one right here. Yeah, I was like, is that a rock? Or, I could have sworn there was a third one that I saw. Alright, just one meat on him. We'll take that. Let's see, can I search? Let's, uh, dispose of the crab. Can I search these clams? No? No clams. Okay. Just decorative. Let's put away our sword and swim out. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. Okay. Now, let's see here. Why don't we, um... What am I doing? I'm just, I'm just casting my stamina. What do I want to do here? I want to build a fire. Now, I don't think we have any firewood right now. we got to find a little bit, so let's just look around. It shouldn't take too long. And, uh, let's cook up some of this crab meat. Um, I guess we could take some of these flints and maybe try to craft more stuff with it. Alright, there's some firewood there. Um, I see some more firewood there. Yeah, this is one of the entrances to Vivek here. Just grab this stuff. And we're gonna sell as much of these ingredients as we can as well. Uh, now, we did choose alchemy as one of our skills, so we should actually start lurking into some recipes for, uh, for crafting stuff. Um, like potions as well as uh, new bushcrafting recipes. Um, but I'm just going to take these flints. If, if, if nothing, I can sell them for like a gold piece. Um, Alright, let's try to cook this food. Now let's see. Do we have enough firewood? We have two. Uh, let's see. Is that going to be enough? Alright. 1.5 hours. I think that'll be enough. Alright, let's put our skillet there. Alright, nice sunny afternoon here now. Um, now let's see. Why don't we make a little uh, meal for ourselves here? So we'll put crab meat there. Let's have a balanced uh, lunch here. We, we, we want some meat, some vegetables. How about some, some, some more of that crab meat? And uh, put that there. We can just probably... We don't have to worry about crowding the pan. We can just put this all here. And uh, it'll all cook. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to put on the pan now. And let's see. Alright, 1.4 hours. How's the cooking coming? It's coming along. 1.3. I just don't want this to run out of uh, cooking time before... Uh, 
before the meat is fully cooked, but it's going. Um, it's getting there. And, uh, yeah, we know that, um, if this runs out, we can just put more firewood there. It looks like it's slowly cooking. I'm gonna get more firewood. Um, I'm not worried about it burning while it, while it cooks. I just wanna get, like, come on, there's gotta be another stick here somewhere. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's go over here. Um, good, we got two here. Nice, nice. Alright, we can add those. Looks like there might be another one. I do feel faster now, too, since we got that athletics uh, increase there. Alright, let's get back to our campfire before it burns out. How's the meat going? For 84. Okay, it's almost there. Let me, um... Add firewood, add firewood. Okay, cooked, cooked. Some of this got burnt. Um, okay, some of the meat got burnt, and the, uh, oh yeah, the pork bulb was, wasn't cooking, so let's, let's see, let's, what am I doing? I'm trying to get the pork bulb on, on, onto the pan. There we go. Alright, we can let that cook. Very good. We got some burnt meat here. That's not as good, but we can just hold on to it for now. It's better than nothing. Alright, we are going to get tired here. Um, but we can, uh... We can rest at a release. Um... Alright, this is almost fully cooked. Alright, our survival skill increased there. We did burn some of the food, but that's okay. Um, alright, I think, uh, I guess this is just going to keep burning. I'm going to try to extinguish it, and then let's, uh, destroy it. And we'll, yeah, we got a little bit of firewood back. Nice. So, there you go. Um, we're going to have to work on our survival skills as well. Um, as we cook, as we, uh, craft things, as we brave the elements, we will get stronger here in the strange and unfamiliar world of Morrowind. And, um, yeah. Looks like there's some people on the road up ahead. I hope they're friendly. I'm just gonna get more firewood just in case, uh, we can make anything with it. Actually, why don't we try that right now? Um, let's take some of this. And, looks like all we can make right now are flint knives. But this might increase our skill. So why don't we try crafting some flint knives. Okay. There we go, our bushcrafting skill increased. So yeah, if we put flint and wood together, we can increase our bushcrafting skill by just making those uh, flint knives. And then I guess we could sell these to a really when we get to the trade house. Now let's see, there's some travelers on the road that we see up ahead next to the signpost, and... Mm, man, it is so beautiful out here. Looks like just a trader with their bodyguard, and nothing strange here. Hello there. Um, Hello, were you looking for something in particular? I'm uh, willing to trade. She doesn't have any gold, but she has some wares. Um, nothing too special. Now, let's see, what are these scrolls? Windwalker, invisibility, and levitate. Holy crap. It's probably like insanely expensive. Oh, yeah. We cannot get that. Um, fro frost damage in five feet on touch. Interesting. Um, now she has a few potions, Cure Disease, Cure Blight, Spell Absorption, I don't know if we're going to get any of this. Let's just look at our consumables. Mm. Lemon milk, like how much is that? Yeah, a lot of this stuff is kind of expensive. Let's just, um, let's just leave her alone for now. Thank you so much, take care. And uh, we're just going to get going on our way. Um, now, yeah, let's see here. We can pick up a few more things to sell. And uh, it is hot and humid here in the swamps as we make our way towards Sedanin. Um, let's get more of these. I think these sell for not that much, but decent amount. More than the mushrooms. And the weather is very erratic today. 
it's just like foggy, then it's clear, then it's, then it's raining. But it's all beautiful. And, uh... We should be getting to Sedanine pretty soon. I can already see the shipwreck for sale. Um, now, that's another thing we should be starting to think about. You know, Jelmus has been staying in inns and, uh, you know, crashing on bed rolls that he finds in the sewers and stuff, but, you know, he hasn't, he doesn't have a place to, of, you know, of his own to call home. And we should start looking for a place, um, to make our home. We could just try to buy the shipwreck and live in there. But, um, you know, I think we can do a little better than that. I think we can get a proper house, um, rather than just buying a rusty old, you know, rotted out shipwreck floating around in some swampy waters near Sedanine. I think Jelimus the Sword Saint can do a little better than that for himself, for his humble abode. Um, and yeah, we don't need anything too crazy, just a place to store our loot that we get from our adventures, and, um, and to sleep, and rest, and, uh, you know, just call our own cozy little place. But we'll work on that as we go. Um, we're getting into Sedanine now. And as we step here into town, um, you can hear the hustling and bustling, see the guards and townsfolk going around their business. But we're just going to head right for Aurelie's trade house. And uh, let's talk to our old buddy. Alright, hello Aurelie. Oh, and he's wearing the robe that we sold him earlier from, uh, I think that's from Tar Heel. And uh, why don't we see if we can sell him anything? So let's see. Okay, alright. We sold a good amount of stuff here. Let's see if we can just get one more gold piece out of him. And, so, and he takes it. Cool. Um, now let's see. Are you selling a bedroll? He's got some tents here. Um, he has some other stuff. He's got a teapot, kettle. Uh, he does have a cooking pot. Like, how much is a cooking pot? 126. Um, he does, he, he does have tents, but I need, I, I just want the simple bed roll. And it doesn't look like he's carrying one. Hold on. Yes, he is. He is. He has one right there. That's all we need. Let's take it. Alright. Very good. And we have a bed roll now. So let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. It should display on our uh, backpack. That's weird. And that was weird. Somebody's uh, dialogue was just freaking out. But we got it. Um, let's see if we can use it. Now let's see. Let's step outside. Now we can't drop the bedroll down in a town. Let's take out a lantern. But we can drop it down in the wilderness. And so, I think what we could do is make our way over to Balmora. And I think maybe along the way, um, let's see. Yeah, I guess the shortest way is to just go here. But let's see. Um, hold on. Can we just drop the bedroll down? And yeah, okay. And then we get a place to sleep. Now, it's illegal to rest here because we're within a town, but um, at least it works. Cool. Um, yeah, I feel like the bedroll should be showing up on the backpack. Maybe it isn't because we have firewood on? If we drop the firewood, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's alright. Um, alright, now let's figure out what we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to head to Balmora now, and we're going to see if we can do a few quests there, and I think we're going to pay a visit to the guy that we were supposed to see this whole time, Caius Cossades. We're going to pay him a visit, see what he has to say about this mysterious package, and uh, yeah, why don't we just get going. We're 
we're walking along the road and there's a couple of Nyx hounds up ahead. Let's just get our stay on our guard here. Okay. Alright. There we go. One hit. Oh, oh it's a Nyx hound pup. Alright, is there any others? Okay. I think that was all of them. Um it is very spooky out here at night, but uh why don't we just uh, head up this way towards Spellmora, and uh, we should be there pretty shortly. I'm not worried about much along the road, but even the insects have fallen silent. And, uh, what's this? The entranceway to, uh, Ancestral Tomb. Um, note from Dralval Andrano. Can I read this? Doesn't seem like I can even read the note. It's locked. Alright, let's not go in there. Not right now. Jelmus has heard the tales of these Dunmer ancestral tombs, and he knows that they are very uh, dangerous places. Still haunted by the uh, spirits of the of the dead. We are very tired, actually. Um, this would actually be a perfect time to go ahead and just drop our bedroll down somewhere. So let's see, why don't we... Uh, we're right outside of Pelagiad here. Um, let's get a little bit further away from the from the village there. Get a nice little secluded spot. <clears throat> yeah, there's some firewood. Let's take that. Why don't we go ahead and uh, just plop our bedroll down here. Let's just take it, place it on the ground, and uh, why don't we sleep until the morning? Why don't we sleep... Like eight hours until six a.m. We'll get up at the crack of dawn. Oop, our rest was interrupted. Hello. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're up now. Um, we were waking up a little bit early by that little forager there. Um. Sure, buddy. We'll take your ingredient there. Um. All right. It's a little bit before six a.m. Let's just keep going towards Belmora. We're almost there. And, uh, yeah, we, we're going to take care of a few things when we get there. Um, now, we did get this uh, package that we got to deliver. Um, oh, yeah, let's stop and have something to drink here. And uh, let's have some food. There we go. And uh, I think we're going to try to drop that package off to the person we were told to go see said to be an old imperial spy master enjoying his golden years now in a in the sleepy town of Belmora and uh, as the sun is rising I think we can put away our lantern again um, now we'll just see what he has to say um, I think uh, we'll at least get a reward and maybe some money for delivering the package, and that's enough reason to see him alone. Um, but yeah, it is early morning now, and it looks like there's a fork in the road, Belmora, this way. Um, yeah, let's not stop for too many side distractions at this point, and let's just keep going down this road. And it is a very nice and beautiful sunny morning. looks like the turn here towards, uh, let's see, there's somebody standing over there. I can hear a lot of noises around, but uh, I'm not sure exactly from what they're coming from. Um, let's be careful here, this person might be hostile. Okay, yeah, Belmore, we just gotta go this way anyways. Yeah, let's just leave them alone. Let's keep going. Just a little script there. Okay, alright. Sorry about that, but uh, we had a little crash, but we're back. And uh, we're just making our way along here 
Um, we're coming up to this Imperial Fort, and uh, we're just gonna bypass it and keep heading our way towards Belmora now. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion, and you're a packed bar. Um, let's take some of this stuff. Alright, yep, we just gotta head towards Balmora now. And look at the, uh, the fort with the ruins in the background, it's just truly... very good looking. Very epic. Alright. Looks like we're coming up to Balmora now. Um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's see, can we just get in over here? Um, we gotta report to the Mages Guild here and see what they can do for us. I, and I also want to see what the Fighters Guild has for us in store here. But, um, let's see, why don't we figure out where we gotta go to deliver this package, right? So we had to go to report to a man named Caius Cossades. We should go ask at the south wall, um, and I think uh, Jelmus is gonna go figure out where this gentleman is f is to be found. All right, so here we are in Balmora, and uh, in this overgrown back alleyway, we heard some rumors that there's a man living in this house here. Um, looks like a woman's hanging out and using the staircase to just kind of hang out. Um, yeah, she's just walking around. But it looks like this is Kai's Kasade's house, so why don't we stop in? And, uh, hello there. You looking very physically fit, sir? What? Yes, I'm Kai's Kasade's. But what do you mean you were told to report to Kai's Kasade's? What are you talking about? Um, I was told to report to you. So. You say your name is Jelmus the Everlasting, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Uh, yeah. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Jelmus the Everlasting? Um, sure. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Jelmus the Everlasting. Now you belong to the Blades, where the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Uh, let's just get our orders. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new when you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go find yourself a decent weapon. Um, I think we've already gotten ahead of the curve on, on that. Um, but at least we got 200 gold there. We even got a speechcraft increase, which is going to... Something we're really weak in, so we're going to have to work on that. Um, let's see. Imperial Cult. Yeah, maybe we could become a lay servant with them. But we're going to have to, again, work on our stats a little bit. Or really, work on our attributes. Um, okay. So, Blades Trainers. Yeah, okay. Look for Rithlane, Tyre Malin, and Nine Toes here in Balmora. And Kaldaren and Aldrun. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Okay, well, let's see. He Reading. does offer some training. It of would his be own. a pleasure to train um, you. Yeah, we I don't want to spend the gold on this right now. Um But let's see. Um Okay, ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat and, and Tablets at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Okay. Alright, so we've gotten some Have new quests anything? from Caius here in Balmora. That feels pretty good. The War of the First Council. I guess we could take this. Um, yeah, Caius has been uh, clearly enjoying his uh, retirement years here. Even though I guess he still works for the, for the Emperor. Um, I don't think we can take any of the other stuff he has here, but that book will sell it, I think. He's got a hand built to sell all corner club. I guess we could take that. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Let's go to the fighters guild and the mages guild and uh, see what we can get there. And uh, hold on a second. What is this? Is this graffiti? 
Looks like somebody's got some wall graffiti there. Um, Alright, now, yeah, let's go to the fighters and mages guilds. We'll check in with them, and uh, we'll take things from there. Why don't we, uh, actually, before we go there, let's just stop in a Revere. Let's just uh, see if we can sell some stuff to him. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Um, should I sell the stone flower petals? Eh, we, we don't get much, but it's something. Alright, um, let's see. Anything else? What can I sell you? Chokeweed, sure. Um, I think we got a book that we can sell. Yeah, we'll sell the book. Um, yeah, we got some other stuff here. Directions to Kai's Cossades. Okay. Let's just sell that stuff. Very good. And uh, I'm going to go... Why don't we step into the Mage's Guild? Yeah, we cleaned a wall here from graffiti, so I was wondering if that other graffiti we could clean, but... Rannis Atheris. Let's see if we can get some duties here. I need someone to convince an ex-Telvani to join us. While you're there, you can collect Manwe's guild dues. The Telvani's name is Larar Baraloth. He's in Sulipund. If you can't convince him to join, kill him. While you're there, collect the guild dues from Manwe. She's in Punami, nearby. Guild dues. Manwe has failed to pay her dues for several years, and she now owes us over 2,000 septums. Allegedly, she is researching something in Punabi, and Lara Bariloth is in Sulipund. If you can convince her to pay the dues, I'll split them with you. Otherwise, kill her. Well, hopefully we don't have to kill either of these people, but... Um... I'll have to figure out what we can do. Alright, well... Alright, those are the duties we got. Um, anything we can get in here? Sure. Let's take all of this. And, uh... Yeah, now one thing we want to definitely take advantage of while we're a member of the Mages Guild is spellcrafting. And I want to ask around, see if we can get, like, spellmaking here. Now, now let's see, um, we could try to make, like, for example, open. If we want to do this, we can set the magnitude, so let's say 25. Open on touch. Um, this has a 72 chance. Like, that's pretty good. Um, actually, our spell chance is pretty good with this, even. We have a 50% chance with this to get 100 points on touch. Why don't we see if we can make this? But the price is uh, 600. So that's actually doable. And that just shows how good spellcrafting is if we can make really good spells like this. But the thing is, it's kind of expensive right now. So we're going to have to make some more money. We could also try to just get some pre-made spells while we're at it. Um, but I think for now... Oh yeah, this is another thing we can get into, soul battle, but we're gonna need, uh, charged soul gems. But basically, if we can start getting... If we can get some good, um, souls and soul gems, we can start winning soul battle fights, which are almost like little mini, uh, arena battles between, um, soul trap creatures. And, uh, that's something we're gonna get into hopefully later, but, um... Why don't we just take some books from around here? Yeah, we could probably take these. And uh, we could probably sell some of these things because they're not coming up as stolen. Right, so we can go ahead and we can drink that. Pick this up. Pick this up. A decorative bowl. Anything that looks like it's valuable, I think we're just going to pick it up. Um, I'm not going to take everything but definitely the valuable things that I can see. There's also food here, so we can take some of these so we don't starve. Get some bread here. Take the bowls. And uh, I'm just gonna, going to see what we can get here. And then we're going to sell. That one is... Ooh, our enchanting skill goes up 4% faster now. Very nice. So some of these are going to give us... Uh, Skill increases. But yeah, let's just take these. 
And uh, let's see how much gold we get after we uh, we sell these. Ooh, alteration. That gal. Speech craft. All right. Well, we have gotten a lot of stuff in our inventory. We're almost full. So I'm going to see how much money we can get. We also got a couple soul gems and other pots and a whole bunch of books and some scrolls. So we're going to go sell all of this and see how much we get. Alright, so we're here at Revere and we got 583. And we pretty much buy him clean. Zero left for him. We, we're at 819. Um, we're going to keep selling this stuff now. Um, the other thing that I just noticed is we also got this Practice Your Spells book. Uh, where is it? Here. This book teaches a handful of spells suitable for practice in the schools of destruction, alteration, illusion, and mysticism. Very cool. So, there we go. Now we got these practice spells. Now we should start using these. Um, we can start practicing them. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the best way to, to practice them is. I guess... Like, let's see, this is just... Okay, is it as simple as just casting? I guess that's as simple as it is. You just keep casting these. And as you keep doing that, it'll just slowly help you level up. So it's just like a very basic, like, borderline useless spell. And I guess we just practice like this. But now we're all out of magicka. Um, let's take a look at our mysticism skill. We should have looked at it before and after. But it's at, like, halfway through. We have a pretty good mysticism skill, too. Um, so that's good. Um, now we are f starting to get tired. Um, let's just keep selling this stuff and see how much, uh, how much we get. Okay, here we are at Clagius Clanler, and, uh, let's see. Can we just get, like, one more tiny little... Boom! There we go. Now let's see, how are we doing on gold? 1491, very good. Um, we've sold pretty much most of the stuff that I wanted to. I, I could still sell more, but I think I'm happy with um, how much we did there. That was pretty solid. Um, now let's see, let's actually go back to the Mage's Guild. And uh, let's see, I want to talk to them since we got this gold now. And let's see if we can create craft create whatever you want to say some of our own spells here so let's go downstairs again and talk to that lady that we talked to earlier and see if we can do a 100 level open spell um i don't know if this will actually work but let's try all right all right Spell chance 52, open 100 points on touch. Point cost 30. Unlock. We just call it unlocking. Yeah, as much as unlock. Alright, price 600. Okay, there we go. And now we have a spell called unlock. And this should let us pretty much unlock anything in the game now. Awesome. Magic is awesome, and it's OP, so do it. Um, I'm trying to think what else we should do. We got still 891 gold here. I want to get some spells that will help us move around, like jumping, like either slow falling, levitating, or jumping. Like, I want to get more of those for Jelmus. Stuff that will make us more mobile. And so... We're going to have to learn more um, spells so that we can create those because we got to learn the basic properties to create the, the spells. Um, but I feel really good that we got that unlock spell. That, that's awesome. Um, Alright, now let's see. Can I buy anything? No, she doesn't really have a lot of what we're looking for. So why don't we just keep asking around? Um, what kind of spells do you have? Buoyancy. Swift swim, one point for 20 seconds. Wow, that's only 37 gold. Let's pick it up. Levitate. All right. He does have levitate. Um, it's pretty expensive. It's 10 points for 30 seconds. That could be really good, though. But it's going to cost us pretty much all of our gold. 
Um, I guess we could just buy it and then just keep selling more books. Why not? Alright, let's see here. We got Levitate. Let's check our... We have zero chance on it, though. So we're gonna have to get better with our alteration. Sadly. But now that we know it, let's just go here. And we can pop Levitate in here. Levitate on self. Now one thing we could actually do is Levitate on target and just set it to a magnitude of 1 for a duration of like, you know, whatever, like 20 seconds or something. And what that'll do is, uh, if we put an enchantment like that on uh, a weapon, for example, or even on a scroll, we can basically slow down enemies and just get them stuck in the levitation, uh, like, speed, and, th and then just outrun them. Um, which is pretty funny, but I don't think we're going to do that with the Daedra Katana. Let's just do uh, Levitate on Self, and let's see. Um, magnitude... So if I want to do... I want to do 10 points of Levitate for... Levitate is really a difficult spell here. Let's see. For 32... yeah, for like 30 seconds, 945. Spell chance, 33. Yeah. So this will this will take time, but we will get better. We will create very strong spells over time. Um, can you train me in anything? She's actually an alteration apprentice level trainer, but your willpower limits you to level 35. Yeah, we gotta we got a lot to work on. But uh, I think I'm actually gonna just get more of these books and uh, let's just see what we can what we can get for them. Alright, there we go. We're just gonna sell these books to Galbadir up here, and we're gonna get, like, basically all their gold. Um, let's see. We could also try enchanting some stuff, and I think, um, I'd like to actually get the Gondolier's Helm with a fortify personality on it. That would be a really good enchantment if we could, we could just fortify our personality with the hat. Um, that would be, that would be cool. Um, but I'm not today? sure... let's see, okay, it looks like we can still sell more stuff, but not to her, she's all out of gold, so let's go find another no person to sell to. <laughs> and it is dark and nighttime now, and it, we're actually very tired, so we're gonna probably rest in a second here. Oh yeah, let's take let's put her hat back on. There we go. Alright. Alright, well, it is the next morning here in Balmora, and uh, we sold a bunch of our stuff. We've got 1377 gold now. That's pretty sweet. Um, now, I'm going to see... Uh, I don't know if this person is just holding a potion. Hello there. Um, now, let's see here. We gotta get some water, so we're gonna go do that. Um, I think we might be able to get some right in the Fighter's Guild, so let's just check in there really quick. Oh, okay. Here, let's check the equipment chest if we can take some of that. Care to tell me what um, this is about? Yeah, let's just check down here. I think we have a... Yeah, there's a water jug here. Let's fill our water skin. And let's also fill the kettle. Yeah, there's some more food here. Um, let's take some of the scrib jerky. This is always... Oop, we just took the platter by accident. That's okay, we can just sell it. We'll take some cornbread too. We don't want to take everything. There's some more books we can sell. We can always sell all of these free books we get in the guilds. But, um... Yeah, that's just, um... Alright, let's see here. Now, I think we gotta talk to somebody here, um... Not sure it's really that important, but I think we gotta talk to Hasfat and Tabalus, so um, he wants a favor. There's Dwemer Ruins called Arkanthan, we need a Dwemer Puzzle Box. Okay, alright, well, uh, sounds good. Alright, we'll check that out. Um, now, I think, now let's see, 
We should also ask for duties here. I don't know who I'm supposed to ask for. Let's just check up here. Um, let's see. I gotta ask you, right, Idis Fire Eye? I'm here for. Here, let's check for advancement first. Now let's ask for orders. Cave rats. All right. Well, we'll take a look at that. What um, say you? I think we can take some of these things to sell as well. Yeah, the shield, the helmet, and the mace. And there's nothing in this chest. Uh, there's some swords here. We can take those to sell them. And, uh... Oh, there's some more vandalism there. Okay. Well, Jelmus doesn't like vandalism, so let's clean that up. Um, Alright, let's hop down here. And uh, I'm gonna sell some of these uh, armor and weapons and stuff now. See what we can get for those. All right. Uh, let's see how are we doing on gold now. Fourteen fifty-five. Um, yeah, we're we're just going to keep finding ways to make gold here quickly and turn that into spells. And it looks like you're levitating. Um, okay. Very cool. Sometimes you can't tell if they're supposed to do that because it's a spell they're casting or not. But let's see. Do you have any gold left? Can I sell? May you find all yes, you I can. Seek, traveler. Let me sell the rest of these books to you. All right, a little more gold. Yes, please. There we go. Let me relieve you of and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think with that we're we're looking good. We got a few new quests um, to pursue here for the mages and fighters guilds, and uh, we're back in Vardenfell for more ad adventures with Jelmus. So if you like this, drop a like, subscribe for more. Uh, we're going to keep this going, and uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.